Karen Calvert and this is Eye on Tampa Bay. Today I'm down in Brandon at Bell Shoals Baptist Church where they're having a Liberty School. And here with me today is Jeff Lugans and he's the director of the Liberty School. And welcome uh, Jeff and I really appreciate you having us stop by. Well, welcome for coming. Uh, we're glad you're here. We're here to uh, pass on our founding values to our children, the next generation. That's our mission here. We have a great group of volunteers who have, are, are participating with this. And this is actually our fourth year that we've been doing this, and, and it's, it's a great success. Uh, 43 children turned out this summer to be a part of this, and uh, it, it goes on, and, and we're going to be doing it again next year as well. Well, that's great. And, and just tell us, how did you start the Liberty School? Well, it originally started by a group of conservatives uh, in, in 2011, and our first class was uh, held over at the Padilla School in Temple Terrace. And uh, we've, we've moved to different sites around Hillsborough County at the time. And, uh, and this summer we are at Bell Shoals. And, um, and it's, we've gotten great receptions wherever we've gone. And uh, the parents just love it. The, the kids just have a fantastic time. Uh, they learn about our, not only our founding values, but by our, our free enterprise system. Uh, we have a store here where they can actually purchase things, and where else can they go to school and actually buy things uh, at the same time? And they're, they're in, into it. They love it. So it's a great time. Well, that's great. And um, how many years did you say you've been doing this? This is, this is our fourth summer that we've done it. And you do it more than once a year, right? We do, yes. We, we do it also on, during spring break, and, and um, when we do it during the summer months as well. And what age group is, is here today? We work with ages 8 to 12. Now, a lot of parents will call us up and I have a 7-year-old. Can, can the 7-year-old can the get in? Yes, yes, they can bring him in. Or they'll have someone who's 13. So we're, we're easy on the ages. As long as they're willing to come here and to, be, to learn, we, we're, we welcome them here. But our, our, our focus group is uh, 8 to 12. Well, I tell you, if you would, could tell um, the folks in our community um, come to Liberty School because... Come to Liberty School to learn about the greatness of America, the exceptional uh, nature of America, and some of the things that do, are not taught in public schools or are not taught anywhere, uh, you will learn them here, that our rights come from God, not from government. That's a big part of it. And, and that we, we have to protect the rights. That we have to first know what they are, and then we have to protect them. And, and this is a message that, that very few people, uh, children, get anywhere in the community. But they come here, and, and they're, they're going to get it here because this is what we teach every day, Monday through Friday, during the, during the week we hold class. Well, this is great. It's been so successful. And um, if there's anything else that you would like to, to tell the folks in the community, um, I'll give you the last word. Well, keep, uh, check out uh, TampaLibertySchool.com. We will have our postings for our, our, our classes in the future will be there. And uh, please come out. We'll be holding classes again next year here in Brandon uh, in the spring and again in the summer. We'd like to have your children as part of our program. Well, thank you, uh, Jeff, for being here. And uh, we'll be uh, catching some, some other footage as we're here at Bell Shoals Baptist Church. We're here at the Liberty School. And once again, thank you, Jeff Lukens. Thank you, Sharon. Glad you could come. And I have with me here uh, Emma Jane Miller. She is one of the volunteers here at the school this week. Um, I understand there there's three stations uh, uh, divided up by the uh, various colonies, and she's with the Philadelphia Colonies yes, here at uh, Liberty School. So, Emma Jane, um, what do you see as the vision uh, that that's coming out from this uh, the school this week? Well, I I have been involved for about three years. And I see as the vision of the, the children that they come, uh, that they are not taught the early foundations of America's history. And we challenge them to learn under the providence of God uh, how our nation was developed. And it looks like um, these children, they're, some of them are coming back year after year, that reinforcement's necessary. Yes. And that's something that the Liberty School's doing here. Um, sometimes we don't see that in our public schools. Exactly. Um, I share uh, the Philadelphia station with another lady who's teaching right now, Nancy Fogel. And um, I, I know that during the week, I take on different aspects. The first day, we talk about the pilgrims coming 
So I dress as a pilgrim and tell it from her perspective. And then uh, the second day we cover the in Declaration of Independence. The third day is our war day. And um, I don't know where King George is, but he is here at the beginning of the week to get some tension going in these children. So we try to instill in them why there has to be a war. And then today is uh, Constitution and the Bill of Rights. And uh, then uh, tomorrow, our last day, is actually they get to meet founders of our country. Well, that sounds so much fun. Um, so you've been involved with the Liberty School since the beginning, um, and, and you've played various roles. Is that true? Yes, I've been um, James Madison and uh, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington now. And one of my starring roles the first time, uh, Glenn Beck actually had just left Fox and brought his crew down and filmed us. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still on his channel or not, but uh, in the earlier versions, we had a character called the Central Banker. I was the Ben Bernanke of the 1700s. And I taught them about inflation as we devalue. We still do that for the store. Uh, we give gold for some of their... Um, uh, prizes for getting the correct answers and other times we'll give uh, paper money and the store has the prices for these patriotic things that they can buy for themselves and they not with real money but with what they earn here which uh, motivates them and teaches them about you know uh, free enterprise and what have you but the beautiful thing is and starting in the second day they get a shock when they get to the store because and in my role as a central banker, I had convinced them to start trading that heavy gold for paper and the convenience of paper. And we just didn't happen to tell them about a little thing called inflation. So the second day, the prices doubled for the paper money, stayed the same for the gold. The next day, they were up triple. And the kids were going, oh, what's going on? And I mean, I'm suckering them into loans so they can get instant gratification rather than wait to earn it. And by the end of the week, I had them in such financial bondage. <laughs> they were almost in tears. And they were, but they were, they were helping each other out then. You know, like I said, I'm so, I don't know how I'm going to pay this. And, all. and their other friends would say, I'll cover his debt. And, you know, character started to rise right, out of the whole thing. It was such a blessing. And one of the things that's been such a blessing is I've often been the recipient of the mail coming from the kids and their parents, and we just get a ton of it after every class, and they are just so uh, thrilled. And, uh, we've, we've had um, so many statements have been, if, if our teachers in our regular schools were to teach the way that we teach at the Liberty Schools, we would get so much more out of it and look f so much more forward to, uh, to class each day because it, it's a living part. This is just part of it, but we bring it right in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and make it real. And it's sad um, because nationally, they're now on a program through our education system to stop teaching any U.S. history prior to the Civil War. And that's very dangerous because that, that costs you all the founding documents, the founding mm -hmm. fathers, the principles, all the things that our nation is based on, and you eliminate that, uh, including the fact that these are rights that come from God instead of government, and it makes it so much easier to take it away and when I you don't know. And I will say that's probably a good reason why the Liberty School is so important, and that um, you know you continue on uh, year after year uh, with this program. We're here at the Liberty School, and I'm in the general store, and I'm here with Pam Hill, who is the storekeeper. So Pam, tell us a little bit about the general store here at the Liberty School. Well, we're trying to show the students what the economy was like in the colonies. Uh, they had little general stores when the ships would come from England, bringing the goods. The store would be well stocked. But over time, it would be depleted. And uh, so we don't restock the store. We start with a fully loaded store. And toward the end of the week, it gets pretty, pretty lean. But uh, this is what happened in the colonies. And uh, we started out with gold coins as our uh, 
uh, money, and then they went to paper dollars, and of course each day the prices are going up with the paper money, but the gold always remains the same. So it's a stable currency, and the paper money is not. And we're trying to teach them a little bit about economics. They come in, they try to see what they can buy, and, and they, they budget, and they save, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's a good lesson. Hi, I'm li at the Liberty School Dan in Brandon at the Bell Shoals Baptist Church, and I have here Chris Shalosky. He's a volunteer here at the school this week. And Chris, uh, what are you teaching this week? Uh, we're at the Plymouth Station, and we're teaching several different areas, and I get to teach. I taught on uh, the Declaration of Independence on Tuesday. Today I'm teaching the Constitution, and tomorrow I get to teach about the difference between capitalism and socialism. Well, that's probably a, a subject that um, uh, this age group um, needs to be uh, educated on because I'm not sure that some of what you're covering is actually being taught in our schools today. Yeah, that's the problem. That's kind of why we, the whole reason we set up the Liberty School is to try to fill in those gaps of what, what they're not getting out there. And I've been teaching this for several years now, and I just love to see how you know, the kids go through here. And some of them know a lot because, most, because some of them are homeschooled and they've learned some things that are not in our public schools. But it's really it's a, it's a great learning experience, and, and uh, just it's fun to see you know, how they grow through the week and really get to understanding how our, what our country's all about. Well, we appreciate mm -hmm. taking the time. We appreciate mm -hmm. you volunteering here and teaching our children. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that they love it because they keep coming back. They Thanks do. a lot, Chris. It's an honor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right hand over your chest. There's the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. 